Hey, today I'm going to show you my everyday makeup routine. Yeah, that's me being extra. And uh, for the base, I use the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. It's an awesome, awesome base. I've been using it for like two years. It's awesome. Uh, and I use it in the shade Vanilla. And for concealer, I use the Maybelline Pure Minerals uh, Concealer. And I think you can only buy this in Hong Kong, but I fucking love this. This is my favorite concealer. I've been using it since I was 15. And then you just do the tap, tap, tap and blend your concealer in. And onto powder. I don't have time to do a full contour routine like on a daily basis. So what I do is I use a, sh uh, a powder in a lighter shade and I put it like on my brow bone, under my eyes and on my forehead and down the bridge of my nose and on my chin. And for bronzer, I use the Fit Me uh, Maybelline Concealer, uh, concealer bronzer and it's like the best bronzer I've ever tried before. Um, I've tried like the Benefit Hoola bronzer and like it doesn't even compare. Uh, for blush, I use the Paula's Choice uh, Contour Palette blush. Um, I have like big blushes, but I've been liking matte blushes recently, so that's just what I'm doing with my face. And for brows, oh my god, this Kiko Eyebrow Wax Fixing Pencil whatever thing. I don't remember the exact name, but this is awesome. I fucking love this. So you just put it on and then you use your finger to like shape your brows the way you want to because like I have extremely like unruly brows. This is the best product ever and it's like under 10 bucks. I fucking love this. And uh, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pencil. I usually don't use pencils because like they are too dark for me but this is really good. And I do the like beginning of my brow like a little bit slanted so it's easier to contour because then it fits like the the shape of my nose that I want my nose to be contoured into, if that makes sense. And like, I do really tiny strokes, so it looks like hair, so it doesn't look like I'm filling in, you know, sharpie brows. And then I use the e.l.f. gel cream thing, I don't remember the exact name, but this is a dupe for the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade and this one is four dollars so like a lot cheaper and I use like a mini liner brush so I can do like really thin brush strokes so it looks like I'm drawing hair on my brows and then I use the soap and glory thick and fast mascara there's no real reason why I'm using this mascara, it's just because it's drying up, so it won't smear everywhere. And for contour, I'm going to use the same bronzer that I used earlier on my forehead and cheeks, and I'm just going to uh, put it on the two sides of the tip of my nose, and then draw a line down from where my eyebrow starts, and then down to my nose, like the tip of my nose, if that makes sense. And I know compared to a lot of contour routines you see, this is like really, really light, but I don't like heavy contour in my daily makeup. And for eyeshadow, I'm gonna use the contour shade in the Paula's Choice Contour Palette. And I'm just gonna put it on the outer corners of my eyes uh, with a fluffy brush. This shade is so pretty uh, on the eyes, but it doesn't work as a contour shade cause it's like pinkish brown. So that's why I'm using it on my eyes. And then I'm gonna use the eyebrow gel cream that I used earlier uh, and I'm gonna line my eyes really lightly and this works well on the eyes for like a natural look because um, it's brown and it's not very pigmented. And then for my lashes, I'm gonna use my eyelash curler and I'm gonna clamp down several times uh, as I curl my lash so it doesn't look like the letter L from the side, if that makes sense. It's gonna like look more natural uh, if you clamp it down several times as opposed to once. And then I'm gonna use the clear mascara that I got from Hong Kong and uh, 
you know put it on my lashes because it holds a curl really well like I have not seen like an American product that even compares and then I'm gonna use my Majolica Majorca King Lash Mascara this is my favorite mascara because you know it's got like tiny fibers in it and the bristle is like really nice and I got some mascara on my lids And then for my lips, I usually use like a lip tint or don't wear anything at all for my lips, but I just bought this new Kiko Velvet Matte Lipstick uh, in Pink Carnation, and this is such a pretty shade. And I think it matches my natural lip color really well, so I've been wearing this nonstop. And then you're done. Uh, this look really takes me like 15 minutes. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I'm gonna try to post videos every Monday and yeah see you in my next video mm -hmm.